Bitdefender email security. Secure mail. In this presentation, we will show you how secure mail can support organizations to enhance privacy and protect sensitive information sent via email. We will also walk you through the different configuration options, as well as scenarios that we cover within this security control. Notice that for this particular feature to properly operate, we expect you to have a fully functional Bitdefender email security environment, meaning that your solution is properly configured and is able to filter inbound and outbound mail flow. Now let's explain some basic concepts. Secure mail users can be either internal or external in their relation to the sender of the secure message. From our perspective, an internal user is a user from an organization where our email security product is in place with the secure mail feature enabled, whether they are the sender or the recipient. Only internal users can initiate a new secure message. This happens by composing an email message in their standard email client, for example, Outlook, that meets the trigger criteria for matching the secure mail rule. Notice that by default, every internal user can send secure messages. Now, if the internal users need to view and respond to replies to their secure mail messages, they must be enrolled in the admin portal. Now let's go ahead and walk through this process. Notice how the new user that has been enrolled receive this information in order to activate their access to the portal. Let's go ahead and activate it, and then set the user password. Now, the access has been successfully activated. An external user is a recipient outside of the protected email security organization and can be any recipient with a valid email address. External users access an isolated secure mail web-based dashboard which can be branded to suit your organization style and they are required to register with their email address and password in order to view and respond to secure mail messages. Now, before we move forward, let's perform a quick configuration check. To do this, let's click on Message Rules. Then, let's go ahead and double click on Secure Mail. Notice that we have two conditions already pre selected the first one looking at the direction for the outbound and the second one looking at the subject, in this case, the secure mail trigger. Also notice that we have as a final action to deliver this message using the secure mail message service. Now, in regards to the subject for the secure mail trigger, let's validate this information on custom rule data. Notice that we have a custom rule data already pre-configured. If you double click on it, you can see that it works based on regular expressions. This criteria can be customized at any time by the end user admin of the system. 
Within product configuration, you can also find the secure mail settings section. Here, you can configure the system to fit your needs. By default, notice that only internal users have access to all the options, meaning reply, CC, forward, and also add attachments. However, on the external user permission side, they only have access to reply, not to CC, neither to forward the messages. If you scroll down, you can see the different options that we have throughout the different templates that our system manages. Notice that this information can be changed or modified at any time to be aligned with your company branding needs. Now it is time for us to demo all the supported scenarios, internal to external. This is the most common scenario. In this example, an internal user who is already enrolled in the Secure Mail admin portal sends a secure message to an external recipient. Since the message subject matches the Secure Mail criteria, the email is then converted to a Secure Mail link and delivered to the external recipient. Then the external user will proceed to register in the portal to be able to read the messages. Once the registration is confirmed, the user will be granted access to the portal. External to internal. In this second example, since the external user has the corresponding permissions to reply and send attachments, he will proceed to respond the message. Notice how the secure mail service notifies the internal user that the message has been read. Now the internal user logs into the portal and reads the message. Internal to internal. In this example, both users' organizations are subscribed to our email security solution, where the secure mail control is enabled. Both users are allowed to send and receive messages via secure mail without any further enrollment. Let's walk through the process. Notice that, unlike external users, they both receive a read receipt notifying them that the message has been opened.
Thank you for watching. We hope that this session has been informative for you. For more information, please visit us at www.bitdefender.com slash business slash gravitysun dash add-ons slash email dash security dot html.